We heard loads of rumors about Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip 5 and Z Fold 5 launch, including a late July launch in Seoul, Korea. Now Samsung has officially confirmed the venue and launch window for its unpacked event. The company announced that it will unveil its next-generation foldable devices at Unpacked in Seoul in late July. It still hasn't given us a date yet, although leaks point to a July 26 event. Nevertheless, the late July window lines up with previous rumors of an earlier reveal. By contrast, all previous launches bar the first-generation Fold and Flip reveals were held in August. It also sounds like we could see the foldable Unpacked event being held in a different city each year from now on. Nevertheless, we're expecting slimmer and lighter foldables on the day. Leaks also point to the Galaxy Flip 5 being a more significant upgrade owing to a much larger cover display in line with some rivals. So if you like the idea of the Motorola Razr Plus's huge cover screen, Samsung's next Flip might scratch that same itch. We've seen a few Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 leaks ahead of its July launch, but overall specs are still hard to come by. Fortunately, a longtime tipster has stepped in with an apparent info dump. Leaker Yogesh Brar has posted Galaxy Z Flip 5 specs on Twitter, and it looks like there isn't much new outside of the chipset and cover display. In terms of core specs, the flip phone will apparently pack a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB or 256GB of storage. The Flip 5 is also slated to get a 6.7-inch Full HD Plus folding old panel and a 3.4-inch HD cover screen. Don't expect any battery or charging speed upgrades, though. Brar claims that the Galaxy Z Flip 5 will hold onto its predecessor's 3,700 mAh battery and 25-watt wired charging speed. There's no word on wireless charging support, although it's been available on every Flip device. Nevertheless, we thought the older phone's battery no longer feels like a liability in our Galaxy Z Flip 4 review, but still thought endurance lagged behind conventional flagship phones. So it would be disappointing if we didn't see a battery capacity bump in 2023. You shouldn't hold out hope for major camera hardware upgrades either, as the new phone is tipped to arrive with a 12 megapixel plus 12 megapixel rear camera system. But Samsung could still lean on software and the new Snapdragon chipset to deliver a better experience. Otherwise, the leaker claims that the device will ship with Android 13 and One UI 5.1. We're expecting four major OS upgrades in five years of security patches, Either way, we'll learn more in late July when Samsung holds its unpacked event. Either way, the launch for both foldable is earlier than expected, so what are your opinion on that? Thanks for watching, peace out.